What's going on guys? My name is Ken. I just bought this 750i 2010 for $1,200. It's a used car with about 100,000 miles on it. Originally, this car is $88,000. So I got about 98% off the original MSRP, which I'll tell you why in this video. So one thing about BMW 7 Series is that it has a huge depreciation rate, especially when it hits around 100,000 miles. Now this car, I was lucky to find it for so cheap because the original owner just does not want it anymore and the price to actually get this car up and running normally exceeds more than what it is being sold for. So we were able to kind of work out a deal for $1,200 and I took it off his hand uh, and now he doesn't have to worry about the bill. So uh, he had to, he had a lot of issues with the car, which I'm gonna take it to a BMW dealership and we're gonna get an estimate for how much it's gonna cost to fix this car. Uh, so I'm gonna kinda give you a rundown of what's going on with this car. First of all, it is fully loaded. We're looking at pretty much like soft closed doors. This is still functioning, which is awesome. Beautiful, uh, of course, automatic entry for the for any doors and window shades are still there. Okay, beautiful window shades even for the rear window. I'm talking. We're talking about a fully loaded car. We're gonna do a startup and see what's going on. And check out this door. I mean, it kind of stops wherever you want it to stop. There's no. There's no. Sometimes they have you know one or two or three settings but this door will stop wherever you want it to stop so very very cool soft closed doors again this is a 2010 7 series for $1200 you can't beat that but the main problem is it doesn't run as uh, normally as it should so some of the features that's really missing in this car uh, somehow it's missing the rear view mirrors that I will have to get it uh, replaced. These uh, these door locks for some reason is missing the little cap. I'm not sure why it's missed. That's missing, but all four doors are missing that. So that's that's you know uh, an, an issue that's really gonna cause a, a depreciation or reduction in price. I'm gonna go over here and show you the same thing on this door. It's missing that. Okay, so it does have some you know some light issues. Um, not sure what's going on with that one, but besides that, uh, everything else is still pretty good. Um, the interior still ex 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 exceeds the quality of a of a hundred thousand mile car, and the leather is still very very nice, as you can see, which is still uh, superbly good. And also, I think he modified the exhaust, which I'll, I'll turn on and I'll show you. It sounds like an AMG exhaust. V8 engine, okay, 400 horsepower, so it's a monster. If you look closely, you can kind of see residue of engine everywhere. And one of the things I like about BMW engine is they Everything is just really fine-tuned from all the hoses to where they play specific items. It's just, uh, it's so tightly packed. So what is the problem with this BMW such that I'm able to buy it at just $1,200? Well, cosmetically, it looks fine. Interior and exterior looks amazing, but in terms of the engine maintenance, uh, the engine is pretty, mu pretty much needs to be almost redone. Uh, there are oil leaks everywhere, there are gaskets gotta be done, the turbo needs to be redone, and, um, and the bill is just huge, that's what the, the owner claims, and he doesn't want to deal with it. But here's the major issue that he has, he was currently driving, and once it's, it reaches around, like if he revs his engine and he revs it some anything above 
uh, 5,000 RPMs, the engine is just gonna go into like an idle state. So that's one of the things that he he pointed out to me uh, when he sold the car. So that's one of the things that he, he pointed out to me uh, when he sold me the car. The fact that the engine is, is very unreliable and you can't really take it any, anywhere uh, for more than 30 minutes. I've been driving around town and it, it works just fine, but again, it's leaking oil and, and uh, a whole bunch of gaskets uh, needs to be replaced. Um, and, and as you can see, some of the cosmetic issues that are, currently in, uh, that are currently are exerted in this car. Now, this is a 400 horsepower V8 twin turbo, spits out, uh, does zero to 60 in less than five seconds. So it's a monster car. Uh, and and it, the depreciation is just crazy. Uh, surprisingly, everything is still functional on the inside. Um, from the eye drive, drive to, just the, fine. to the amazing sound system, to the quality of the leather, the soft closed doors, uh, the comfort uh, and the, the safety of this car is just exceptional. Now there is some slightly like leak engine smell that, that gets into to the car and you know when only one of these cars you, you expect the depreciation to be high. You don't expect this to last uh, a, a lifetime, even though it, it should, just because the, of the way how it is. But, but it, it is such a, but you know you get such a great deal to, um, you get such a great deal in, in one of these cars. So let's take a look at the engine, and then we're gonna take a drive and see how it behaves. I'm gonna take it to the again. I'm gonna take it to the dealership, and we're gonna see what the estimate is to to really bring this car back to normal so i think i got a great deal twelve hundred dollars is still run i know it's missing a few items but overall it's, it's just great As I'm driving this car, one of the things that really stand out is just the amount of power that it has. The 400 horsepower, it is still there. And the uh, the pistons, uh, for some reason, I can kind of tell that the spark plug is not like really fine-tuned. Uh, and I think that's one of the things that really just kind of stopped this car from being what it is originally brand new. But uh, given that fact, uh, it is still a pretty solid car, surprisingly. Um, and that's, I think that's one of the reasons why the used market is still okay for this car. You can get it around like, you know, 80% off, which means that you can get it for like 16 to 20,000 just because a lot of these cars are still good. But again, when it gets to like 99,000 miles, you can start to kind of feel, um, you can start to see why it loses value so quickly. And that's the reason. And the reason is because the maintenance that has to be done on this car is a lot. It still turns great. And uh, the muffler has been modified and maybe that's why you hear this, this growing sound that's coming from uh, the exterior portion of the car. But uh, it is an amazing car and it feels just surreal. You just feel really, it feels comfortable and it's, you feel relaxed and especially you feel safe being in this car, which is, you know, that's, one of the reasons why you buy these cars, right? Because you want to be chauffeur around it's just in, in such a luxurious form. Uh, everything in this car is still ex extremely functional. Notice that I'm missing a rear view mirrors. Uh, there's no blind spot detection in this car, which I thought was kind of weird. Consider it's a 2010, uh, uh, $88,000 price tag, and everything else is loaded except for the blind spot monitor, which I thought was kind of weird. But, um, but if I'm driving on a daily basis, just to go from locally, I don't think, I think I can still drive it even though, you know, it's not completely normal, but it, it, it's still functional. But the problem here is I don't know if this is gonna last me for another day, another month, or another year. I mean, this is kind of like out there in space. It can break down any minute. Uh, and I think that's, perhaps the reason why the original owner is just so gung-ho to get rid of it um, I think I got a great deal but time will only tell I mean this could be this could break down tomorrow 
and I'm I'm I now park a $1,200 piece of metal uh, but of course the I drive in here everything in here is still functional which is amazing the the, the interior is still uh, display a lot of quality um, and if the engine works well I think this is an amazing piece of um, a machine to have this is like the most luxurious phone that you get for $1,200 who who wouldn't get something like this you know and it's just the unfortunately the the depreciation price for these like BMW especially the the luxury the, the more luxury the car is the more uh, the higher the depreciation rate which means that it, it's pretty much trash um, but if you're you know if you if you're buying it just to kind of cruise around in uh, in comfort and in safety without worrying about too much of the look and to be honest with you it still looks pretty nice on the outside um, but this is more like an experimental car for me to see how it is I'm gonna bring it to again the dealership uh, in, probably in a few days and see what is the main major issue that is wrong with this car and I'm gonna make a video to let you know and hopefully it isn't much if I can get away with maybe fixing everything for five thousand uh, dollars this is a steal for me I think it's still a good value but if there's anything above you know five thousand dollars and that's something that I'm gonna really have to consider hard and also one of the things that uh, about this particular car is the amount of fuel that it consumes. I think it's like 40 miles per gallon in the city and then 90 miles per gallon on the highway that is expected for these types of cars this type of full-size luxury car so that's not something that I'm gonna complain about it's just you know it's just that's something that should be known um, so I will get back to you more uh, about this car I'll talk to you in the next video